Hey guys, it's Sensei again, and I have here my passport. Now, this is the most popular document that you go around that you sign up for a lot of things. Like this is kind of like your identity, and it's accepted worldwide. But hey, what if I have a boss like him? There's no privacy. Now, Jamie Diamond threatened to fire people who open Bitcoin accounts. I can't afford for my ID to be spread across everyone. How am I going to do this? Now, here's a solution. So on the one hand, I want this to go across many blockchains, right? On the other hand, I want people to know who I am. So this is Raise Network, okay? Raise allows you to transfer documents across different types of blockchains without people knowing who you are. In fact, you don't even know. Raise allows you to transfer this data over the Polkadot network, Ethereum, and also Binance Smart Chain. Now, there's going to be a lot of more applications like this that require your ID. For example, DeFi, which allows you now to do things anonymously while still getting known to whoever needs to know you. And this is because the new applications are now governed by uh, Web 3.0, which if you look here, uh, based on the eight top cryptocurrencies, Web 3.0 is actually 19.5% of the entire web applications led by Polkadot. But ecosystem Raise will also go against Manta Network and also kill a competition. But Raise is doing well. And this is why I want to show you something. You see, I know this is July. I know that we are maybe kind of depressed, right? Because the markets are going down. But this is not how you evaluate a project on whether the price of the token or whatever. You need to evaluate the project on where it is going in terms of the milestones that it's meeting. So let's go through three different milestones and show you why I like this project raise and why I say that it has places to go. So this will be in terms number one, first of basically their partnerships, number two, it's basically the way they allow people to earn yield because that's how you stick with the project. And number three, finally, is a test net coming? Is a main net coming? Whether the deliverables are actually out there. First things first, like any other project, Raze has an ecosystem. But unlike any other project, Raze has a big ecosystem. Just look at that. It looks like Polkadot, right? It looks like Binance Smart Chain, right? It looks like Polygon, right? Uh, this is awesome. That means they are onboarding partners. Not only that, if you look in their medium, you can see they are onboarding new partners all the time. And this means that people have confidence in using Razer's product. This is actually a use case for this. And it's a proven use case. And that's why they are onboarding new companies all the time. Now, number two is related to the IDO. But it's not related to the IDO. You see, so... I invest in a lot of IDOs and I notice that after the investment, what start is li really the liquidity farming. Now this gets me excited because it gives me a way to actually stay on with the project. So they've also done this, but look at this recent announcement. They are extending this. They are allowing you to do more to mentor DAO. And this is what I think gives confidence to the communities to huddle and stay on with this project in order to basically see it to the end of its completion because it's only started guys and here it is guys to show you guys that raise is actually making great progress they are actually coming out with a test net yes and to celebrate this to make sure that all of you know about it they are celebrating this in the best manner possible and this is introducing a meme contest because two memes guys let's face it it's easy for the people out there to understand. We need the people out there to understand the race network. We need the people out there to use the race network so that they are confident of crypto and DeFi and all this. And through memes, this allows it you to do it in a non-serious manner. This allows you to do it in a friendly manner to pull people into the race community. So there it is. I showed you in terms of three criteria how race is actually building its ecosystem and it's going to become a real product very soon. And this is very important. Now, this is only the first step. It's allowing you to come in to understand race to the most simplest thing ever. 
which is a meme. And in the next session, I will go into more detail on race to go under the layer to understand the security of race and how it differs from other blockchains. In the meantime, hey, let's celebrate race coming into the mainstream. Let's celebrate the testnet and beyond.